Out in a few minutes. Oh, uh -huh. I think we should get out of here while we can. Why? He's your father. You should know that we are engaged. Well, do you actually think that he would be happy for us? He might. He might be happy. You think so, huh? Except for the fact that he wants you. <laughs> oh, he does not want me. Not like that. It's about family. Problem is, I know Alan a little better than you do, and when he wants something or someone, he, uh, he usually gets it. Who did you have Thanksgiving dinner with? Alan. Because you were with Harley. Yeah, because I wanted to tell her about us. I'm sorry, I should... What am I, what am I doing? I, I, know, I know that you don't want Alan. You're not interested in, in Alan. It's just that he's going to have an aneurysm when he finds out the news. What news is that? Show him. Should I start calling you Dad? Well, you two are engaged? Well, I, I really don't know what to say. Other than... Congratulations! <laughs> Good for you, son. Thank you, Alan. That means a lot. Welcome to the family. You know, I couldn't be happier. Don't do that again. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I guess I was a little too forward. A little too everything, I think. Well, I was just welcoming your future wife into the family, that's I all. I don't remember you welcoming Harley into the family that way. Because I never wanted Harley to be a member of this family. Well, we're getting divorced, so you don't have to rag on her anymore. Notice that he is still defending Harley. I thought you had come to your senses. Okay, all right, this conversation's over. Unless, of course, you have another comment about us getting married. Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. I, I want to uh, officially welcome you and Raphael to the Spalding family. Except, of course, they're going to be going by the last name Ituro. Well, but Ituro is a made-up name. Uh, you really sure. want to go down this road right now? Natalia, I would be honored if you and Raphael chose to use the name Spalding. Okay, stop. Spalding Stop. will open doors for you across the country, and besides, you live here in the Spalding mansion. We're not going to be living here after we get married. We're all moving out. That won't be necessary. Oh, I think it is, kissy face. I gotta go to work. You all right? Need a ride? No, no, I'm fine. I'm going to start for a while. Uh, keep your guard up. I'll call you later. Dad? You are a very strong woman. Why, because I can find my own way to work? No, because it doesn't bother you at all that he is going to be spending every day with his ex-wife, Harley. Natalia, would you like for me to take you to work? No, thank you. Well, I, you know, I don't even understand why you feel you have to work. Does uh, Gus not make enough money to support you? For the last time, I like to pay my own way. I'm aware of that, but I also am aware that police do not make large salaries and they have to spend long hours with their partners. Oh, gee, Alan, who could we be talking about? Well, I'm just trying to look out after you. After all, you did hear how Gus defended Harley earlier. Okay, stop. Because this is not about Gus, this is about you. Me? Yes. And whatever it is that you thought was going on between us. Well, N Natalia, I will admit to you that uh, you did give me uh, some hope, something that I had lost when Beth left me for Rick, but I, I, I've been nothing but respectful to, of you and your feelings. Yes, you have. And you've been very kind and generous to Rafe and to me. That's been real easy. But Gus is my past, and now he's my future, too, so I hope that you can accept that. You give me no choice. I'll tell you one thing. When Gus hurts you, I will be right here. <laughs>